back for good day everyone. The holidays can certainly be a very stressful time and it seems like they are just gone in a blink of an eye. Just yesterday we were talking about Halloween and now Christmas will be here on Monday and Tuesday. Here to join us is Eric Papp. He is the author of Leadership by Choice. And somehow all of this ties back into the holidays, but again, a very stressful time for most folks. Yes, and one of the ways to deal with stress is just to slow down mm. and to ask yourself a question. This holiday season, am I living through the holidays mm -hmm. or am I living in them? Mm. And living in them means taking the time to slow down, to do those activities, those holiday traditions. Sure. It could be going to see the lights in Chiha, the, the Chiha Park that I saw last night. Oh, fun. Yeah, or uh, those types of activities, just to really enjoy the moment. And living through them means already making plans for New Year's mm. or already thinking about Valentine's Day and really not enjoying the moment. So sure. being present is a great way to kind of slow down and to ease some of the stress. Now being present, I mean, we do need to get the holiday shopping done, the presents wrapped, the cookies baked. So how can we kind of enjoy that time? and still get everything done? Mm. Well, good question. And one of the ways, Melody, is to get it out of your head and get it on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And then once you get it out of your head, you start to automatically feel better because then you actually see what you now have to work with. So are you talking making lists? Yeah, make okay. a list. Make a list out there. Uh, check it twice. <laughs> <laughs> make, He's got jokes too. <laughs> <laughs> make a list and then actually then you start to prioritize. And that way you start to feel like you're more in control this holiday season sure. rather than playing catch up. I love it. Now, again, holidays, very stressful. Family can mm. be in town. A lot of times people joke about, oh, you know, the in-laws coming into town. When's my family going to be leaving? Going to spend an entire week with the kids who are home from school. But we do want it to be a very joyous time. So how right. can we make sure that happens? And family issues and relationship issues are usually the number one area that stresses people out. Mm -hmm. And I have just a two simple formula for that. I like and that it. is one is to identify it. Okay. What is stressing you out? Is it your mother-in-law? Is it your brother-in-law? Whatever it is that's stressing you out, identify it. And the second thing is to take ownership. Mm -hmm. And you can take ownership by writing some notes down and then calling that person. Because hmm. if you know you're going to be with them on the holiday, let's say December 25th, and you haven't had a particularly great relationship in the past, call them and say, hey, you know what, I just want to say, you know, I'm sorry, we, we've kind of had some rocky mm -hmm. holidays in the past, and I really want to be able to to just be on the same page this year. Sounds You'll right. feel a lot better, you have a clean slate, mm -hmm. and you open up the possibility of having a great holiday, stress-free December 25th. I love it. Sounds like definitely taking the bigger stand in some of these situations, which I have a feeling ties in a lot with this book. Again, Leadership by Choice. We're gonna be finding out more about that here in just a few minutes. First, Chris, on over to you. I'm here once again with Eric Papp. He is the author of Leadership by Choice. And Eric, we just talked about how to have a stress-free holiday. But uh, some of your tips, it definitely sounded like it takes a little of a kind of bite in the dust and maybe going a little bit outside our comfort zone to make sure we have a very happy holiday. That's correct. I mean, first you have to identify the stress, what's stressing you, and then taking mm -hmm. that ownership. And that's the, the hard part sure. in people's lives is, you know, they know what to do. It's kind of like it's knowledge is, is not power. It's applied knowledge. So now that you know what to do mm -hmm. and how to handle it, so now it's a matter of actually doing it. All right, so we talked earlier about maybe calling up one of your family members and mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, we had a, a few hiccups along the road, but you know, let's move on from here. What about if that family member, that friend, or maybe it's not even the holidays, it's just kind of everyday life, if they still just, there's something mm. there and, and it just doesn't seem to get, be getting passed for them. You know what, that's okay. But, but the idea is, it, is you're going to clear it off of your plate. You're going to mm. get it off of your mind because it's something that's frustrating you, or maybe that's anger, angering you, or maybe it's stressing you out. So you can express yourself to them. And then if it doesn't work out the way you wanted it to, that's okay too. But at least you got it off your chest, and that way then you can move forward with a clean slate. Sounds great. And then you buy them your book. You buy them, yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, so yeah. this is your first, um, I guess, official book that you've written. You've done all sorts of mentoring and leadership trainings uh, before. But tell us about this book that you've written. Yeah, so Leadership by Choice. I believe is the, the future of, of leadership, and that is leadership through self-management. Okay. And that is getting folks to take on the ownership of the four areas of their life. Communication, so how well do we listen? How well do we speak with influence? How well do we ask questions? The second area then is productivity. How effective are we with our time? How organized we are? Mm -hmm. How well do we plan? Uh, the third area then is leading teams or working on teams. How well do we establish trust with others? Mm -hmm. How well do we engage in healthy conflict? And then the fourth area is personal development, and that is 
us working on ourselves and our goals and also helping others towards their personal goals as well. Great. And again, with the holidays, it sounds like if you kind of embody those four characteristics, then the family members might live a little stressful, uh, stressless holiday as well. That's correct. That's correct. I mean, one of the chapters in there that we kind of talked about is uh, the abdication of accountability where people always say, oh, it's not my fault, it's sure. my, somebody else's fault. Oh, it's not, it's not me, it's my brother-in-law, it's my mother-in-law. You know, but if you take on that ownership of what's stressing you out and, and be accountable, then you can then deal with it and move forward and have a great holiday. Sure, it, it's very easy to talk about all about this during the holiday time when stress is right there on the forefront mm -hmm. of what we're doing. But what about months from now, down the road, when maybe you still have those disagreements with family members or everyday relationships in your life? How can we continue all of this? Right, so, and the idea is when you still have those disagreements down the line is still increase the level of communication. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something that we're, that we're not doing. Maybe we had a great talk you know, this week, but then, sure. we, then we fell short in a, in a month or so. So kind of keep that, that communication up with that person so that you can work through that. Sounds great. Again, you can check out his book, Leadership by Choice. Maybe stick it in somebody's stocking or under the tree. <laughs> or maybe just buy it for yourself because it sounds like a wonderful, great book. Thank you so much for sharing these tips with us, Eric. Look forward to seeing you again. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We'll be back with more Good Day after this.